everything the devil has is to be plundered from him and taken from him and then occupied by you Holy Ghost your God in the earth today Holy Ghost your God the Holy Ghost in the earth today. is God in the earth today and you walk with Holy him by Ghost saying words God in the earth today. my name is Andrew Hemstrott thank you for joining us the Father if this is, is your first time here make sure you subscribe if right. this isn't your first time here and these messages are Holy blessing Ghost you then consider becoming a partner with us Luke 17 32 and here we find a three-word verse and Jesus is talking and he says remember Lot's wife you go oh, okay uh, Lot's wife what, what was that all about well they had just come out of Sodom and Gomorrah and they were to not look back but Lot's wife she looked back and was turned into a pillar of salt it's kind of a bad day for her but she wasn't just looking back because she wanted to see what was going on she was she was looking back because out in front of her was the unknown and back where she came from was comfortable it was easy it was the way she was used to turned her into a pillar of salt i know some of these people <laughs> i'm never going back back to the old ways back to the old way of thinking there's nothing back there for me and I have a good heritage I have a good faith heritage and I love my brothers and sisters but as far as I'm concerned that's all going backwards I've come too far to go back there and as I stand over here worshiping the Holy Ghost as God and walking with him by saying words just looking at them is going backwards let alone listening to them and I see their progress as going backwards them progressing in the way that they're going is literally backwards to me I don't know if you can hear that or not and I can see from where I stand as a Holy Ghost worshiper I can see that I'm no longer one of them not one of who not one of them that don't worship the Holy Ghost they don't worship the Holy Ghost and therefore can't know him in the way that I've come to know him Luke chapter 4 and verse 28 and they all in the synagogue uh, when they heard these things were filled with joy now they were filled with wrath and rose up and thrust him out of the city and led him unto the bow of the hill where on the city was built that they might cast him down headlong must have been a good message verse 30 but he passing through their midst went his way who did he pass through you had all of the re religious leaders and thinkers of the day there and Jesus passed through them they were of the established thinking and I walk through their midst and go my way there's a 19th century philosopher named Arthur Schopenhauer he said all truth passes through three stages Jesus passing through their midst went his way all truth passes through three stages first it is ridiculed second it is violently opposed and third it is accepted as self-evident well to me these things that I'm saying are just plain self-evident first Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 9 and how you turned to God from idols to serve the true and living God you turned from idols to serve the true and living God verse 10 and to wait 
wait for it wait for it so you're serving you turn from idols to serve the true and living God so I'm turning from that and I turn to serve the true and living God and to wait for his son from heaven so this is where we're at we're serving the true and living God and waiting for his son to come from heaven right that means he's not here and we are here serving the true and living God that's the game that's the deal that's where we are at today this has become my religion I walk and serve the true and living God by speaking in agreement with his word and wait for Jesus to come from heaven and doing this is godly and profitable say godly and profitable if I do it right first Timothy chapter 4 verse 8 for bodily exercise is unprofitable that's what you think it said this says bodily exercise profits did your Bible say that bodily exercise exercise profits you here it says little it should say a little but it profits are you going to get the profit that comes from bodily exercise if you don't put in the work not one bit you won't profit from that verse of scripture unless you put in the work the same with godliness but godliness is profitable he's equating the two bodily exercise and godliness godliness is profitable unto all things having promise of the life that now is that now is when is now well, that would be now yeah that now is and of that which is to come so that it promises you life now and you know the Bible calls the Holy Ghost the promise in Acts chapter 2 verse 39 2nd Corinthians chapter 1 verse 20 says for all the promises of God in him are yea and in him amen unto the glory of God all the promises are for now having them now well there is an evil in the church in church thinking in the church mind the church mentality inspired by the devil it's the thought and mentality of everything is put off until we get to heaven and that's preached widely in most churches that you have nothing in this life but God promises you everything in the afterlife such a well-tuned message perfectly demonic did you hear that perfectly demonic perfectly well-tuned not to the scripture to what the Holy Ghost the promise would say why because therefore the devil keeps everything and you get nothing of course until you go to heaven when you're no longer a problem for him but you have to check yourself regularly am I thinking this way am I putting off to heaven what God has promised for me to walk in now you should be thinking everything the devil has is to be plundered from him and taken from him and then occupied by you Jesus put it this way Luke 11 23 he that is not with me is against me he that gathers not with me scatters are you with me Matthew 11 and verse 12 says and from the days of John the Baptist until now say until now you know where we are now right we already talked about that we have turned from idols to serve the living and true God 
and wait until Jesus comes that's now from the days of John the Baptist until now the kingdom of heaven suffers violence and the violent take it by force say the violent take it by force take what take the kingdom if you're not violent we'll talk about it in a minute if you're not violent you don't take it now let's look at that word violent lest you misinterpret it in the NIV it says violent people have been raiding it I like that they've been raiding the kingdom through their violence which we'll talk about they've been raiding the kingdom other translations say seizing it by force but the Greek word here is biazo and literally means positive aggressiveness say positive aggressiveness to force one's way into a thing you seem like you're trying to force something I'm positively aggressive in forcing this say that's mine I'll take that first Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 10 but by the grace of God I am what I am but I labored more abundantly than they all here's Paul saying yes there's grace but I labored more abundantly than they all they all who specifically he's talking about the Apostles I labored more abundantly than they all now I don't know everything but I do put in the work these messages don't just pop out of thin air nor does the kingdom yield them or give them up and the fruit thereof without resistance they have to be violently acquired with continuous positive aggressiveness and if you think you're going to get it some other way you are sadly mistaken the passive don't take the kingdom I saw this video on YouTube you know what a badger is right medium-sized mammal I guess well this badger he'd been caught by a certain kind of constrictor snake and the snake was squeezing the life out of him but eventually the badger was able to somehow squeak his way out of the grip of the constrictor and you see him over there you know he got away a little bit over in the the weeds and the grass and there he was trying to catch his breath it looked like he was barely alive but after a few minutes he sort of shook himself off and he could see the look come over his face and he turned to the snake and said now you die and he went at that snake and ended up fighting it and killing it and as he was dragging it away a pack of jackals tried to come and steal the constrictor away from him and he dropped the snake and fought off the jackals and took his snake prize home pretty positively aggressive we have many verses of scripture that talk about this same kind of aggressiveness actually Abraham is a good example in Genesis 15 11 here uh, Abraham had put together an offering a meat offering for God and it didn't seem like it was working Genesis chapter 15 verse 11 and when the fowls came down upon the carcasses Abram drove them away so he'd made his offering and he's presenting it to God and it looked like nothing was happening and when the fowls the buzzards came in to try to take away take his offering away what did Abraham do Abraham just laid down and took it let him take it out no he didn't he fought him off 
and you can read on down here and then down in verse 17 and it came to pass that when the sun went down so it took all day and it was dark behold a smoking furnace and a burning lamp that passed between those pieces and then God showed up but he didn't show up just right away Abraham had to fight off the buzzards that tried to take his offering away are you here he had to say I don't think so that's mine you must have this violence in you to take the kingdom there's nothing passive about it I fight the buzzards off of my offering I fight the buzzards off of my confessions when I'm speaking in agreement with God's Word and the buzzards try to come and take it like Jesus said the sower sows the word and the the birds come in the fowls of the air come in and try to take it away you fight them off they took it away you're not positively aggressive enough Colossians chapter 4 verse 4 says that I may make it manifest as I ought to speak how ought you to speak you ought to speak in a way that makes it manifest positive aggression in your confession that you may make it manifest as you ought can you see how you ought now you ought to speak violently with enough positive aggression you speak with enough positive aggression enough violence so to speak to take it now listen to me if you worship the Holy Ghost then you are part of this society and as such are entitled to certain benefits Psalms chapter 112 verse 3 says wealth and riches shall be in your house if you're a worshiper of the Holy Ghost you are part of this household of faith and wealth and riches shall be in your house own that know that I am calling for it violently with positive aggression and I do so regularly I call every cell every organ and every tissue of this body my own personal body but also the body of believers this society people that worship the Holy Ghost every cell every organ every tissue of this body is healed fully restored and youth renewed Psalms 107 verse 20 says he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions who that's you you are healed you are delivered from all your destructions my voice is positively violent over this and over this for all of my partners like Caleb of old he turned around and said give me that mountain and then took it Daniel chapter 7 verse 26 and the judgment shall sit and they shall take away his dominion to consume and to destroy it unto the end and the kingdom and the dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the Saints of the Most High whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and all dominions shall serve and obey him verse 28 hitherto is the end of the matter the whole kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given are you hearing this oh that that's just when we get to heaven really literally said under the whole heaven which meant on this earth this is your lot this is what we're required to take we take it all don't turn back 
but take it by force thank you holy ghost for revealing these things to these people and as they step forth with positive aggression believing your word and taking all the things that come into their path we shall be greatly pleasing unto you and the kingdom shall be subdued and seized by force and we thank you for it holy ghost in jesus name amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost i worship you i thank you that this is the day when we can enter into things that weren't allowed in the days gone by and we shall stand forth in the greatness of the kingdom on this earth as you have said in your word in jesus name amen father is in heaven jesus at his right hand holy ghost your god in the earth today